this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a mind-bending bi-directional optical illusion photo portrait. For your convenience, I provided a face facing forward and the same subject in profile. I downloaded them from Shutterstock. When you open them, you'll notice a thin grid that I placed over the photos. This is because they are not for distribution due to licensing restrictions. However, you can apply the techniques I'll be showing you to your own photos. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, smash that subscribe button and please remember to click like if you like this video. The first step is to separate our subject from its background. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, let's use the Quick Selection tool. If you're using CC 2018 or later, click the Select Subject button. Photoshop automatically analyzes our image and makes a selection of the subject. In earlier versions, drag the Quick Selection tool over your subject. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. To refine the edges of hair, go to Select. In versions earlier than CC 2015.5, click Refine Edge. In later versions, click Select and Mask. If you prefer to use Refine Edge, shift click Select and Mask. I did in-depth tutorials on both of these filters, so if you want to watch them, I included their links in my video's description. Check Smart Radius. This detects smooth and hard edges. To adjust the size of your brush, make sure the Caps Lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over the edges of hair or other soft areas. Check Decontaminate Colors. This prevents color fringing, which happens when the background color leaches into our subject's edges. Drag the amount all the way to 100%. Output it to a new layer with Layer Mask. Then click OK. Notice we now have a layer mask next to a copy of our photo, which masks out the background. Layer masks are like stencils in which white reveals and black conceals. Open the front facing photo and repeat the process. This time, output it to a new layer. We'll place white behind our subject. To do this, make a new layer below the active layer by control or command clicking the new layer icon. Check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since white is our background color, press control or command plus delete. Open back the profile. Press V to open the Move tool and drag the profile onto the tab of the front-facing document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold the Shift key as you drag it down and release. Pressing Shift kept our subject centered. Make the front-facing photo active and reduce its opacity to approximately 50%. This allows us to see the profile under it. To size and position it, press Ctrl or Command T to open our Transform tool. Drag the transparent image so the eyes, nose, and mouth are aligned with the face under it. If the size is off, go to a corner, and if you're using CC 2019 or later, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it in or out. In earlier versions, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it. Continue to reposition and size the face until it's aligned with the face under it. Then press Enter or Return. Increase the opacity back to 100%. Drag the front-facing photo below the profile. Hide the profile and drag its layer mask next to the front-facing photo. Click the chain link icon between the layer mask and the layer to unlink them. This allows us to reposition and size either of them independently of the other. Since the photo is still active, Drag it to a position where approximately half of the lips are aligned to the profile shape. Make the profile photo visible and active. We'll make an inverted layer mask next to it 
by Alt or Option clicking the Layer Mask icon. The black layer mask is masking out the profile picture. We'll reveal back the nose of the profile by brushing white over that area of the layer mask. Control or Command click the layer mask of the profile to select its shape. Hide the selection by pressing Control or Command H. The selection is still there, it's just hidden. Open the Brush Tool and Brush Picker. Pick a soft, round brush. The hardness is 0% and the opacity and flow are both 100%. Adjust the size of your brush and brush over the nose to reveal the profile of it through the layer mask. If you want to darken or brighten any part of the nose, make the profile photo active and open the Burn or Dodge tool respectively. I'll open the Burn tool for now. I'll choose Midtones and reduce its exposure to 20%. I'll adjust the brush size and brush over the area I want to darken. To lighten areas of the nose, I'll open the Dodge tool and brush over those areas. If you want to resize your entire image, link back the front-facing photo and its layer mask. Shift-click the front-facing photo to make it active as well and open your Transform tool. At the top, make sure the chain link icon is active between the transform's width and height. Place your cursor over the W or the H. When you see this scrubby slider icon, Drag it to the right to increase its size. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.